you come near me, I'll slit you in two. Relax, I'm not looking for a fight. Huh. Okay. But no dirty tricks. Don't get excited, I'm a friend. That's easy for you to say. In the dark, it's hard to tell friend from fake. You know what's going on. The Sun God has abandoned us. That's what's going on. The darkness is on us. It swallows men up and it turns them into weird creatures. And to look at you, I'd say you're next on the list. You better take a chill. Never mind what I look like. I'm on your side. The Conchalites, it's all their fault. Them and uh, a Sunseer named Thanandar. The Conchalites? It's gotta be them. We'll make them pay for it. I think Thanandar's somewhere in the Stalite. The Sunseer who's in league with the Conchalites. The Sunseer here? <laughs> He's got the wrong address. Don't you believe it. He's not human anymore. Shankar Archessence has invaded his body. Now he lurks the Dark Lands the way a rat prowls the sewers. And he's out to get us. What's he look like, this walking nightmare of yours? Huge, with a kind of jet black steel armor. Believe me, you'd rather fight off a hundred Conchalites with your bare hands than tangle with Thanandar. Watch out for Thanandar. Don't worry your ugly head about me. I can take care of myself. Watch your back. Don't worry, you're a... Nothing useful inside. It's a wreck from before. Looks like a big machine. Watch your back! Don't... Hmm? Light be with you, scavenger. Light be with you, eh? In case you haven't noticed, there hasn't been any light down here for a long time. The Sun God don't come around here much anymore, friend. If you know what's healthy, you better get your heart out of here. What's going on down here? It's been this way ever since the Black Shroud came down on us. Some say things from the Darklands have entered the city. And what they want for lunch is us, the scavengers. The ones that don't kill get changed. They become like those creatures. But if they ever come near me, They'll get a taste of my claws! Do you know anything more about the creatures from the Darklands? No. Ignorance is bliss as far as I'm concerned. Do you know anything more? Denry's! I can't hear you! Let me turn off the grinding wheel! To the storm. Kali isn't with you? No, she left again. She couldn't sit still. Can you repair this weapon? Yes, I think. Go over there and turn the grinding wheel on. One of those old machines from before. Wait! Your weapon! Bring it back to me if you really want me to fix it. Hey, Danries. Yes, I can. Can you repair this weapon? Yes, I think... Go over 
there and turn the grinding wheel on. Thank you, Jenna. That's just what I needed. Always at your service for a good deal. Arkan! Here! I dug this up for you. It's not much, but I hope it'll help you hang in there. Thanks, Kali. I appreciate it. I'm going to try and find you a healer. Be strong, sweetheart. She's incredible. Don't be scared. Okay, but one false move, and you're dead meat. Who worked you up like that? There's some weird crap going on. I don't scare easy, but I saw shadows. Moving in that alley, right there. Shadows... not human. Kinda like you. They bite first, and ask questions later, if you get my drift. Don't worry. I'll protect you. Seen anything else? No. But I've seen enough already. Rotten old barrel. Durkin. Arkan! Don't you ever give up! This is it. You're gonna die, traitor. Looking for me, Blackhead? Come and get it! Mistake, Dorkin. from before. Nothing 
happening? Nothing's happening. Nothing but debris. Nothing but debris. Everything's caved in. The bed is crumbled. The person who slept on it is nothing but dust now. There used to be someone in here. Nothing but glass and dust now. There used to be someone in here. Nothing but glass and dust now. Mm. It's turned on little green lights. A bed that closes like a box. The man inside must be as old as the Great Cataclysm. A bed that closes like a box. The man inside must be as old as the Great Cataclysm. A bed that the man... There used to be someone... Nothing but... Nothing but debris. Everything's caved in. Pretty lights. <laughs> Never saw anything like it. It's moving! Automated holotrack projection of 26 December 2054. We're recording this message from the underground Renaissance A1 bunker, a little less than six hours after the first meteorite impact in the Middle East. As we feared, the Guardian Angel's attempt to turn aside the meteorites has been a total failure. The comet's trajectory passed within a few thousand miles of our planet. According to reports coming in from all over the world, more than 1,500 meteorites have already hit the Earth's surface, and the largest ones are expected to strike the planet sometime in the next 12 hours. Our continent is already being ravaged by fire, volcanic eruptions, and tidal waves. 30% of the atmosphere has already been shrouded in gigantic dust clouds generated by the impact of the meteorites, and the entire globe is threatened with nuclear winter. The term environmental disaster has become totally meaningless. Our most optimistic predictions estimate that 87.3% of all life on Earth is threatened with extinction. The Renaissance Project is a final attempt to save. Various means of technology will be stored. We are using cryogenic containers which will make it possible to, to rebuild civilization. The following are the procedures for reactivating... No, the machine is dead. A bed that the man is a bed the a bed the mm. Mm. there used to be so nothing but glass there used to nothing a bed the man mm.
All right, who's next? Hmm? Hmm? Welcome, pal. God, bless me with your rays. Get me without a fight. I'm gonna wipe that smile off your face, pusshead. I'll be moving along now, okay? You all right? Thanks. I owe you my life. Take this. I won't need it where I'm going. need that. I won't be able to see anything through it. You're a wanderer? How did you get in? I am Lodar, scout for a caravan of wanderers only a few days' journey from here. I barely made it. 
They closed the gates just after I got inside. What a laugh. I thought I'd be safer in the Stalite. Did you notice anything special out there? Yeah. Weird. Creatures as dark inside as out. I was lucky to make it in here alive. And down there, near the water, I saw a woman. A woman? All I know is she doesn't belong to my caravan. She took off before I got to her. Can you tell me more about what you saw in the Darklands? Thanks for your help, but I can't tell you anything more. You go your way, I'll go mine, okay? Sun God, bless me with your rays. Dorkin! Oh. oh. <sighs> Dorkin! You're still alive! Arkan. It's you? Ah. Uh, I knew I'd see you again. Before. the end. Yeah, I don't give up easy. It's the bitter end for me. My. my sins have caught up with me. <laughs> I... I wanted a new era for Sparta. I was willing to do anything. Collaborate with Sordos. Let him kill Lori. Turn your father over to him. But I didn't realize what Thanandar was up to. He and Sordos used me. atone for your sins. Tell me where Thanandar is. No. I don't know where he is. Don't take him on. He's not human anymore, Arkan. He's been... infected. 
for a long time. The Sun God only knows how he concealed it from everyone. The Conquer Lights poisoned you with his blood. Now that the powers of darkness have entered the Stalite, Thanandar is free to reveal his true nature. Other creatures obey him. No one can stop him. Too late. Oh. Dorkin, I'm looking for a place my father called the Tomb. It may be the only way to save Sparta. The only safety is in flight. Flee while there is still time. The Stalite will disappear because of me. May the great Solar forgive me. He's dead. It's all over. He's dead. Gloom, he almost slit my throat. He, he wasn't human anymore. He was a creature of darkness. The Sunseers were right. The darkness can take over anyone's soul. Yeah, but it ain't gonna get me without a fight. Here comes another one. Die!
It's Dolny's. Thanandar said he was taking care of him. Lies. I won't get it open with that. Hear that? Kabak says some creatures from the outer darkness are down in the lower city. Kabak's nothing but a crazy old coot. The Sun God is testing our faith. I'm not worried. The Sun God won't forsake us. <laughs> I don't know. This business gives me the willies. What if the night never ended? That's ridiculous. You're scared. That's why you're talking blasphemy. Okay, I'm going back up. I need more ammo. Keep your eyes peeled. Someone's trying to get past. Shut up, I tell you! You're safer here than in the lower city, you morons! So shut up! <coughs> what in the name of light? It's... it's... it's one of those creatures! Come on, let's see a little bloodshed. Hey! Which one are you betting on? How should I know? I can't even see him. I want to see a little blood flow, that's all. Hey, you out there! Let me out! Shut up, you idiot. This guy's a killer. He'll eat you alive. Not the right key. Hey, get out of here. Can't a man even have a little peace and quiet even in prison? Shut up! I don't want this guy to get riled. He can't touch us. 
The bars are too strong, right? It's not the right key. Who, who is it? What's going on? It's the creature. Shut the door! Don't let him in! I didn't do anything! I don't want to die! Who's there? I just did a number on your friend Zed! Now it's your turn! Nothing on him. Hmm? There he is again! One of the pr prisoners. I, I saw him do it. He's gonna kill. It's locked. Hey, shut up. He can't help. Shut up. It's locked. Hey, shut up. He can't. Please, me need. Please, spare me. I don't want to die. I didn't do anything. Me neither! I'm innocent! Sun God, bless me with your rays. Please, spare me! Me neither! I'm innocent! A piece of the crystal key. That scumbag must have stolen it from Zed. Shut your traps! He don't scare me! He's some kind of slimy monster that's gonna eat us alive! Halt! Who goes there? Jazda, it's me, Arkan. Don't you recognize me? Arkan, yes. It is you. By the Sun God. Captain Fedoria warned us. But I didn't think it was this bad. Stand aside. Lori sent me. Go on in. We were expecting you. Thank you. In memory of Arkan. Guardian of Fire. No, this is no time to rest.
for Doria. Lori will tell you what you... We're counting on you, Archon. You don't know anything else that, that might help me. What can you tell me about it? What? Hmm? I, I really could not say. I'm very sorry. You don't know anything else that, that might help me. Uh, sorry, my young friend. I don't know what else to tell you. Boiling blood, you could at least try to help me! You are young and hot. If I can help you, I... If you want, I can look in my archives for information on the Black Rod. Come back later, I will tell you if I've found anything. Hmm... Okay. Anything else that, that might... Sure you didn't find anything else? No, my young friend, that's all. I'm sorry. Sure you didn't... I think... Uh, go over there and turn the grinding wheel on! to me, you... you pathetic old jerk! Thief, you are getting nothing. Arkan, am I glad to see you. This old toad has given me a hard time. She's trying to steal my Thunderbolt ammo. Ammo I almost lost my one good arm getting hold of. He's owed it to me for a long time. 
And today's the day to pay up. I want the ammo. I knew you could use it. Lay a hand on me and I'll show you something you won't like. Two against one. Yellow bellies. to do it, but he didn't leave us any choice. If you need me, I'll be at Danry's. At least take the ammo. A man died for it. on him. on him.
I'm not going to use that here. It must open the door, but I can't leave now. Lori told me I'd find the answer here. Let's take a look at this. The children of the sun, those whom the ancients called Runka, Today slumber in the bowels of the earth. The tombs of dreams are their retreat. Protected by their stone watchmen and the vigilance of the initiates, the elect among humankind. The day of their awakening will change the face of mankind forever. Thus has it been foretold by Thorgrad and the other founders. But the laws of the universe oppose the forces of light and their opposite. The evil blood, the blood of the Shankers, flowed upon the earth before and after the Great Cataclysm. All life touched by the darkness is corrupted, and itself becomes a tool of corruption. The Initiates have vowed upon the heads of their descendants to fight this evil, wherever it is found, with fire and the sacred light. It's signed, Thelen Crone. Initiate of the House of Thorgrad. Lori was right. My father knows more than I thought he did. Let's take a look at this. The children, but the e all, the initiate sign. Lori was right. Let's see what's over here. Yes. Research on the location of the entrance to the Runka Tomb of Dreams in the Stalite Sparta by Ril Sadar, initiate of the House of Thorgrad. What's all this gibberish about? The secret of the location of the entrance to the Runka Tomb was lost during the Great Cataclysm. Everything was plunged into, into upheaval, including the very Earth itself. I have nevertheless discovered the manuscripts of Thelen Kron, the first initiate and founder of Sparta, who organized the construction of the Stalite over the site of the tomb. According to what I deciphered in his secret writings and my own research, I now believe that the tomb lies under our very feet, directly under Sparta. Helen Kron says once the initiate has entered the tomb, he must show his loyalty to the Runkas by reciting the ritual mantra. According to my translation, it, it says the, the Runkas, um, children, children of sun come from the, from the sun, come from the star, to save the world, threatened, uh, destroyed by the Shankers. But I haven't yet been able to find the entrance to the tomb. I fear it was blocked off during the Cataclysm, and that we've been barred from entering the tomb of the Children of the Sun. If that is the case, we will have to wait for the Hour of Awakening to set our eyes on the beings of light over which we have watched since the dawn of time. It's the tomb Lori was talking about. Nothing useful inside. Nothing useful inside. Nothing. Nothing on the lectern. Nothing on the table. No, it's just an old book from before. I remember that. My father used it to count the stars in the sky. There's something underneath. A key. There's something under the book.
this is as far as I can go. Nothing. Nothing on the lectern. Nothing on the table. There must be a mechanism somewhere that opens it. It works. It's opening. What? Who are you? Get out of here, or I'll call the guard! Quit yelling! It's me, Arkin! No, I've never laid my eyes on you before! Help! Help me, Guardians of Fire! No! Don't kill me! So you think I'm a monster? Okay, fine! I'll act like a monster! No, listen! All right, I'll do what you ask! Will you listen to me and try to help me? I swear by the great Sola! You'd better keep your word. I know. I'll help you. Anyway, if you really wanted to kill me, you'd have done it already, right? Master Euler, you know the secrets of oils and the mysteries of alchemy. You must know of a cure for the sickness that's eating away at me. Uh, I... I'd like to help you, but I don't know anything about your disease. The Sunseer healers are the only ones with the power to help you. If you can think of anything that might help me. Don't worry. If I find out anything, you'll be the first to know. Master Euler, I found this. It comes from the ruins of before. Do you know what it is? Hmm. It looks like part of it is broken. If you leave it with me, maybe I could take a look at it. Here, take it. Good. I'll figure out what it is. What is this stuff? Give me time to study it first, all right? Come on, go hang out somewhere else! Master Euler, please, analyze this weird stuff for me. Listen, I should know a great deal more very soon. But first, I need your help. In all this chaos, I greatly fear for someone's life. A woman, Delia. You'll find her in the lower city, at the Silver Reed. It's a cabaret. Please, bring her back here to me. When Delia stands safely at my side, I'll tell you everything you want to know about this relic from before.
Hey, can you hear me? Hold on. Too late. They're here. Too strong. Nothing I could do. Dark shroud. Forever. Thoric. The creature didn't give him a chance. Too many dead. I have to bring the light back to Sparta. It's Bruce, one of my best friends. If these monsters are here, they must be everywhere. I have to find the tomb. I must bring back the light. Don't be afraid. Bogdoran sent me. Bogdoran? Where is he? Up there in the upper city. I'm gonna take you to see him. Okay. I'll go with you. Great sun god, Maor! wasn't himself. He was a beast. Trust me, I'm still human. Sun God, bless me with your rays. Arcan! Over there! A creature from the Darklands! What? What are we going to do? Don't worry, I'll take care of him. Don't move, whatever you do.
Delia! Sweetheart! You're alive! Bo Duran, you were worried about me? And you sent Arkan to bring me here? How considerate, darling. I'm glad I managed to bring you back. Many thanks, Arkan. May the great Solar watch over you. Stay with Bogdoran from now on. Light go with you, Arkan. Don't worry, Arkan. I'll take care of her. And I owe you one. I won't forget it. Have you examined the relic from before? Huh? What? The object from before. Yes, yes, that's very weird stuff you've got there. This bar inside here, I'm not exactly sure what it is. But you shouldn't get it wet. I've covered it with ruig oil, but be careful. It's still very dangerous. Why did you put oil into the relic from before? You see the green bar in the middle? I poured one little droplet of water on it, and it spit out enough flames to burn my beard! Oil, on the other hand, is neutral. It's safer like this. I have to be going now. Thank you, Archon. Come back if I can be of any help. I know where to find you. I have to be going now. Thank you, Archon. I know... Hmm, the more I look at you, the better I understand Bogdoran. I hope one day you'll come back here to dance. Just for me. I'm grateful for what you've done, Arkan. And if the Sun God is willing, one day I'll prove it to you. Uh, Arkan, it... Isn't it about time you left? Sun God, bless me with your rays. Nothing on him.
Too deep. If I jump in, I'll drown. Interesting here. That's what happens when the Conchalites put you on a diet. That's what happens. Hey, can I borrow that? Unless you still need it. Nothing here. Take it off. I can finally breathe. Looks like someone was expecting me. Beast. I'd better find a cure before I turn into one of those. Hmm. 
It's deep. Better not go in too far. The entrance to a cave. Boiling blood! What... What is this place? These roots are gigantic. The path ends there. Hmm, strange. The water seems to be shimmering. Water, ah, like liquid fire. It purifies me, but I feel weaker. What are you doing in my domain? I'm Arkan, son of Rilsidar. I come in peace. Arkan, you say? I know your father, but I've never seen you before. How do I know you're telling the truth? Proof? I can offer you nothing but my word. That's not much. But your words are not tarnished by lies. I sense that I can trust you. The situation is serious. The starlight's been swallowed by darkness. The well of sacred light! Who could have done such a thing? You seem to know a lot. A renegade sunseer by the name of Thanandar. Thanandar the healer? He once was a healer. Now he's not even human. He was responsible for the deaths of Zed and my father. Thanandar infected Zed. The same way he infected me. He wasn't himself anymore. Maddened with pain. Blinded, Thanandar forced him to touch the Well of Sacred Light. There were flashes of lightning, and the Well of Light stopped shining, as if it were being filled with that black stuff. Soon after that, the Black Shroud engulfed the starlight. I'm looking for a place. The Great Sunseer calls it the Tomb. A secret place my father's been seeking for many years. You're right. The time to act has come. Lori is a wise woman. I know she would never have revealed these things if it weren't vital. I will help you, Arkan. My father didn't come to see you recently, did he? No, I haven't seen Real Sadar for many, many moons. I know he was worried. I think he sensed the coming of these dark events. Your father was an initiate, one of the few people who knew about the crypt in the Well of Light. Also, one of the few with the power to touch the Well of Light. That is why Thanandar captured him. None of this means anything to me. What is this Well of Light? As you have guessed, the Well of Light and the Tomb are connected. The Well of Light was a gift. It draws on the Force in the Tomb to protect us from the darkness. This Force, invisible to human eyes, runs through the land around the Stalite. It protects us from the Dark Shroud and its minions. It attracts the rays of the Sun God that give us strength and weaken our enemies. But without the Well of Light, we are condemned to darkness. Why didn't anyone else know about these places of light? And what do Zed, Lori, and my father have to do with it? Zed, Real Sadar, and the Great Sunseer, like me and some others, were bound by a... a, a pact. A pact, the origins of which date from the dawn of time, long before the Great Cataclysm. A pact concluded between the ancestors of our ancestors' ancestors and they that slumber in the tomb. 
We swore to protect the Well of Light and the Tomb by keeping them secret until the awakening of those slumbering deep within the Earth. In exchange, some of our ancestors themselves were granted a little of this force. A life force they could draw from the Well of Light and return to it as they wished. A force enabling them to do things ordinary humans cannot do. This life force traveled down the ages and persisted in Zed, Real Sadar, and Lori, the initiates. The force Zed passed on to me before he died. That's what it was. If the force of light exists, then the evil, the poison Thanandar contaminated us with. That's the opposing force. Yes. This dark poison feeds off the energy of living beings. Those who don't die are transformed, like you. Little by little, they forget who and what they are. They become bloodthirsty creatures, insatiable, ravening. But the force in the tomb can vanquish the poison, can't it? Yes, the two forces consume each other. But if the poison has penetrated too deeply inside you, the shock to your system would be terrible. And then you, too, would perish. That's what happened to Zed when he touched the Well of Light. And Thanandar? What's he looking for? Thanandar was an initiate, like us. As a healer, he was fascinated by the force of darkness. He wanted to understand it, to find a cure. I don't know what impelled him to betray the cause, to commit these acts of madness. Perhaps he was contaminated accidentally. If the poison is within him, his mind and soul may have suffered the most horrible of transformations. One thing is certain. If he is not stopped, he will lead us to our doom. Do you know where he is now? No, but I have an idea he's still in the starlight with other creatures. I'm sure he'll stay till the bitter end. You must stop him. Destroy him. I've already tried. The dark evil has made him too strong. I... I don't think I can beat him. Then there's only one solution. Find the tomb, and bring the light back to the Stalite, before Thanandar and his monsters complete their evil deed. You look like someone who knows many things. Do you know how to get into the tomb? No. The secret was lost in the Great Cataclysm. The tomb is buried deep beneath the Stalite, and the ancients say the path to it is long and dangerous. Even if you find the hidden entrance, Many ordeals remain before you can enter into the heart of the tomb. What ordeals? I do not know. Perhaps Real Sadar discovered something, but he never told me about it. Can you do something to put out the fire of this poison consuming me? Yes, of course. I can't cure you completely of the evil that has you in its grip. But the force of life and light is here in this place. That is why nature flourishes here. That stone colossus standing in the center of the grotto? The force from the Well of Light passed through it. If you drink the water surrounding it, it will purify you. But drink only a little, for the poison is intermingled with the living tissues of your body. Your very life will be at risk. Thank you, Leona. I hope I'll make it. Be careful. Thank you, Leona. Be Sun God, bless me with your rays.